Centre Park's, um, as always, sponsored um, you know, sports over the years. And uh, a number of years ago, we were looking for a new sport to, uh, to be involved with. And, and clearly, badminton is such a popular activity at Centre Park's that it was, it was a natural choice. Um, for example, I think last year we had over 100,000 badminton courts hired out by our guests uh, whilst they were on holiday with us at Centre Park. So uh, it's a very popular sport and therefore you know, a natural choice for Centre Park to, to sponsor for the next uh, five years. Over the past week we've been yeah. practising as a squad. Yeah. So. Um, did you guys think you could do it? Did you think you could come back and win? All the way. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were... We know. Um, we wasn't sure. We wasn't yeah, last year um, that we were a year young, so all of the year nines went up, so we were more confident this year. Yeah, and plus this year we got one person stuck in Sri Lanka with the Ash Cloud. And, yeah. and Greg broke his ankle like four weeks ago. Up until the first of March, we won the Milton Keynes area, we won the Bucks area, we won the Southeast. We didn't lose a, a game. We won every single match, and we're ready to go. Then the, the number two player playing rugby for the school, went over on his foot and he was in a plaster and on crutches the week before Easter. Fortunately, it wasn't a broken leg. Uh, our other player was actually flying off to Sri Lanka for the Easter holidays and a volcano erupted. So he hasn't been able to get back and he's still stuck at Colombo Airport trying to get back from here. So I don't know how he's going to feel when he hears the result uh, today. I've been so impressed with Santa play today. Um, not only are there England players here, there are players at county level, but people that have just been really enthusiastic and passionate about playing badminton. It's, so, it's just so great to see people going on court, playing badminton, with you know, the pride of playing for their school. And I think the standard's risen probably from what they're used to. Uh, and so for me, as a, an ex-professional, I've been really encouraged to know that the future of badminton is safe. It was amazing to have won, especially being sponsored by some parks. <laughs> Excellent, glad. So have you been practicing hard obviously you came back to defend? Have you like, been putting in the hours? Well, um, we all do our own type of practicing and everything, so we've all been trying hard individually so it's all come together as a team. Will you guys be here next year to defend your title? Yes. Yes. Of course. I was going to say <laughs> We will be winning it for the first time in the world. The children have been really getting stuck in and look like they're really enjoying themselves out there and uh, it's a really high level of competition which is you know, brilliant to see. I started playing when I was at school, I had a teacher who was interested but we never got the opportunity to uh, play you know, at an event like this and come to Centre Parks with all your friends and re have a really good time so um, I think it's an amazing opportunity uh, for the children. The big difference for this one is, is really about the engagement with local schools. Um, we've had uh, I think we've gone from 300 children to uh, 23,000 over the last three years, um, which we simply couldn't have done without the cooperation of the school sports partnerships, um, county sports partnerships, our county associations, and of course the individual teachers themselves. So um, I don't think we run anything else, certainly not on this scale, um, that culminates in just a fantastic finals weekend. We've grown considerably. Um, we have every intention to grow it further. We'd love to get to 30,000 young people by 2012. That's a very clear aspiration. We're more than on track to do that. The setup here is really similar to a very professional tournament, and I think for the young players today, they really get that sense of, wow, you know, if I want to be a professional badminton player, this is what it's going to be like. The officials, the young officials, are doing such an amazing job. It's really nice to see young people uh, as officials in sport, but to see young people really passionate about it and really being part of it. You don't have to be playing to be part of sport. You can be anything from volunteer to official to just, you know, just being part of the whole atmosphere of a big sporting event. The actual venue is superb. We've actually got parents staying here this year. So they actually came upon the Friday night, staying here, going back on the Sunday. Uh, I've never been to a centre park, so I've, I've been trying to nip out and have a look at the place. It's absolutely stunning environments in which to uh, play sport and to have the sponsorship for hopefully five years or more. This event started out um, three or four years ago with just a few hundred children. Um, we're now, this year's entry has passed 23,000, which is just simply phenomenal. Um, I don't think there's another school sports competition in the, in the country um, that gets anywhere near that level of figure. Um, and of course we, we couldn't do what we do without the support of our partners. Centre Parks have been fantastic for Badminton England for the last two years, um, not just in their, their sponsorship of the England uh, national team, um, but also in, in sponsoring and partnering with this event. Um, to bring 23,000 kids down to the teams that we have here uh, this weekend 
um, takes one hell of a lot of organising and to have a, a great team of staff around us from Centre Parks has been fantastic so we're extremely grateful for their support.